All right, so it's been a couple weeks. Um, so I'm just gonna go over the Elite Force Glock 17. Um, played a few games with it already. Um, it's great. Uh, gas consumption is awesome. Probably get, I don't even know, because between every round, I got five magazines of these, so during an actual game lately i haven't run out of magazines for the gun so i don't know how the gas consumption is that well i know it's around probably two mags worth of bbs for every gas fill um but usually between every match i'm gassing them up anyway so i can get topped off but these are the we uh magazines they fit no issue drop free I did have to do some filing inside of the magwell to get them so they drop free uh, WE magazines are I think a little bit bigger towards the top and there's some nubs inside of the magwell to help keep the magazine perfect inside of the magwell so you just gotta do some filing um, but even with some filing the old or the original factory part uh, the Elite Force magazines, they still work too. So, but I have five, ma five magazines in total. I got four WE and the original Elite Force magazine. Um, so far, no issues. It shoots awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, very crisp. Very crisp trigger, um, very fast response. Uh, I'm still waiting on a chrono that should be coming later on this week that I'm posting this. So when I get a chance, I'm gonna chrono all my guns um, and see where they're shooting. I also have a few gu uh, my M4, um, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. I have an end pass bolt and a regular bolt, the stock bolt. So do some comparisons um yeah that's a that's it for the elite force um there's not much to talk about i haven't really done anything to it besides make other mags fit and that's pretty much it, it i might put some different like night sights on here i might see um but we'll, we'll deal with that in the future uh, the next gun that i used First game, I didn't have my M4s. I only had two pistols, so I ran two pistols. Um, first game that I ran a couple weeks ago, or a week ago, pistol, my 1911 was working fine. Um, no issues. Um, but this is an issue that I have encountered in the past with my other Colt Railgun. Is that over time, the hammer and the sears inside of here... I hold the hammer back and everything they wear down the they're not hardened steel or anything they're just sort of like this weak metal so they tend to sort of grind themselves down and so the hammer won't stay cocked back so this has happened on my old gun um on my old gun uh, i had a few other issues with so i just bought a whole new one um but they do have a rebuild kit, uh, Elite Force. Um, the Elite Force, KWC, the Cyber Gun, all their 1911s are pretty much the same gun. It's all pretty much a KW KWC system. So um, if you can't find a KWC or a Cyber Gun or a specific Elite Force uh, part that you need for the gun, uh, most of the time Elite Force makes it or KWC makes it so if you're searching strictly for KWC or Elite Force you're gonna probably have a tricky time finding it uh, usually I just search up CO2 Colt 1911 or CO2 1911 and you'll get mostly a list of Elite Force some KWC and I think some Cyber Gun I think so <clears throat> I have to order a hammer rebuild kit comes with a whole hammer assembly pretty much um just put it together comes with a new hammer it is black though the hammer which 
I don't really mind having the black hammer. It might be nice. I already have the black inner barrel, or uh, outer barrel. So, having almost going for it's almost almost a dual tone. But uh, this like whole assembly back here, if you can kind of see it, um, this whole assembly in here kind of comes out. Uh, I haven't done it in a while. Um, it, uh, I think it does take a little bit of work to get out. Um, you, I think you got to punch the pin down here for the back of the grip so the spring comes out. Um, and then you also have to take off the safety which is glued um last time i had one it was glued so it kind of takes some you really got to kind of force it off it doesn't just pop right out and then i don't know if you can kind of tell but underneath the safety you see a little black screw head so that's a screw i think you got to take out and then you can take out the whole assembly but yeah a lot of these parts they take a lot of uses, especially since it's a CO2 gun and just the metals aren't hardened steel, so it definitely does create some problems. But it's I think 20 bucks for a whole hammer rebuild kit, so it's better than buying a whole new one plus the amount of work I've put on this gun already. It's yeah. Um so RMR is still fine. Uh, shooting it a shit ton still zeroed so this cheap rmr got off a of wish for like 30 bucks has held up phenomenally um yeah i had an issue where the 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 sight mount was kind of wobbly the screws kind of backed themselves out so i had to take the whole hop up assembly not hop up assembly the whole uh nozzle assembly out i had to put some thread lock on the actual screws and then just to be safe, I actually put some epoxy. Um, you can't really see it, but I put some epoxy on the on the underneath of the uh, mount. And when I put it down, I s s put the screws in, tightened it all up, let it dry, and works. Um, so yeah, the only thing right now is this is broken. Um, what it actually does? Um, let me show you. You can still use it. It's going to be a sing, uh, not even a single action. It's going to be a uh, single shot platform. So as you can see, I'm going to hold down the uh, mag release because it's empty. I don't know if you heard that. That's a dead shot. Then you would rack, slide, put a new BB in the chamber. Pull again. Um, also the, uh, I think the CO2 is running out, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool. It's very quiet. Um, obviously FPS is probably really low, but I think it's kind of cool. It's a very silent, it just sucks. You got to rack it every time. Um, I know there's some mods, well, not even a mod that you can do to some regular pistols. You put some, uh, like a some country they call it blue tack it's like this sticky sort of putty and he sort of wedged it where the hammer would hit the back of the slide so it would only hit hard enough to release some gas to shoot the bb but you would have to rack the slide it was very quiet um maybe in an outdoor game it might be useful but when you're doing indoor games and stuff it's just kind of useless but that's what it kind of reminds me of because it doesn't have enough power to move the action of the slide it just has enough power to shoot the bb out and it still shoots the bb out quite fast i'd say it's probably around 200 feet per second probably it, it went through thick cardboard so it's still got a lot of oomph to it but yeah enough about this uh, i'll probably do a video on it maybe of me fixing it but we'll see um and then yeah, I'll probably do another video on my rifle because that's a long story. But so far with these pistols, uh, Colt Railgun, it is a great gun. It lasts a while, but after a while, you do need to buy these rebuild kits. Uh, they have rebuild kits for the nozzle assembly. They have rebuild kits for the magazines. They have rebuild kits for the hammer assembly. Um, and I 
think you know they also sell inner and outer barrels as well uh like the stock ones um the platform itself is great just the internals obviously suck um if there's a way if anybody knows if they have hardened steel or better metal internals for the Colt Railgun or the KWCCO2 pistols that'd be awesome because uh, this gun definitely wouldn't be a beast with some steel internals in here it would be an absolute beast 